Hi, welcome to this week's video. My name's Paul. So this week, as you can see, is back to watercolor landscape painting. This is going to be a very loose painting. And I'm sort of trying to embrace the watercolor medium. Um, I feel that some of my recent paintings kind of, I was kind of trying to make them not look like watercolor paintings in a way. So this week is very much, this is watercolor and it's wet in wet. So I'm trying to sort of embrace that chaos that you get with the wet in wet technique. It's um, interesting painting in this way because you're never completely in control of what happens. In terms of the materials and things, because I know some people are always interested in this stuff. It's the usual, some of it's Sennelier paint, the yellow that I'm putting on, this light cadmium yellow, that's Sennelier paint. The green was a light phyllo green, it's also Sennelier. The blues are Jackson's art, but as I said in a previous video, um, Jackson art watercolor paints are actually Sennelier paints, so it's the same thing basically. Same thing in a different package. The paper is Hanumule paper. It's quite a heavy paper. It's 100% cotton. And as usual, it's limited palettes. So there's four blues, um, cobalt blue, ultra, French ultramarine blue, um, Prussian blue, which is that dark blue you can see over on the left, and a cerulean blue. Other than that, there's the as I already mentioned, the light phyllo green and the light cadmium yellow. And that's it um, in terms of colors. Now, because it's wet and wet, you're going to get a lot of mixing. So where the yellows and blues mix on the paper, you'll get different greens forming. But as I say, I'm trying to embrace the, the chaos of wet and wet painting. So what happens, happens sort of thing. As usual, there's no reference as such. I did do a little pencil sketch, which you can just about see sort of peeking out behind that wooden board on the left hand side. To be honest, I didn't actually look at the sketch while I was doing the painting. Um, I think the sketch was just there um, to get an idea of composition, something, some sort of idea of composition before I started painting. It's maybe kind of a, a confidence thing, maybe. Um, but I didn't actually use the, the sketch while I was painting. In terms of confidence, I have gone through, I've gone through this sort of thing before, um, looking at my painting and drawing and thinking, um, you know, who am I kidding here? I can't paint and draw. This is terrible. So I went online to see if this is something that happens to other people as well. And of course it does. Um, there's lots of examples of artists who went through a period where they lost confidence in themselves. And it seems to be a pretty natural thing, at least for, for some people. One guy in particular, because I'm really interested in impressionist art and in the impressionist artists, um, one of them, of course, Renoir, he went through something like this. Renoir, in, for much of his early artist career, he struggled with money. Um, he sold some paintings and he made a bit of money, but he was never that wealthy, especially the first sort of 10 years or so of his art career. By about the 1880s, he was making a bit of money. Um, he made enough that he could travel and he went, one of the places he went to was Italy. And there he was exposed to sort of classical Renaissance art, sculpture and paintings. And when he looked at those and he looked at his own paintings, he came to the conclusion that he couldn't draw and paint. And he decided that he was going to get away from the Impressionist style and create something that was more of a sort of classical style of painting. But some of the paintings that he created after that, he didn't like because they felt very rigid. Renoir, of course, painted lots of um, people. He was more of a, a person, a people painter than a, a landscape painter. 
but he felt that this new style that he was trying to develop was very rigid and didn't work that well. So he ended up kind of a combination of the looser impressionist style with this more rigid um, classical style. And he sort of developed his own way of painting after that. But long story long, he did um, go through this stage of a kind of I don't know, existential crisis where he, he lost all confidence in himself as an artist. So it's not uncommon. And there's other stories of artists like destroying a lot of their work and things because they became disillusioned with it all. So if you ever go through something like that, and I have definitely gone through those sort of stages, it's maybe all just part of a, a natural sort of evolution of your art. It's a chance to try something new and maybe combine it with some of the stuff you've done before. So like I say, with this, I'm trying to get back to using watercolor as watercolor kind of thing, and just very loose and somewhat chaotic. But I think it's still recognizable as a, a landscape painting. Well, if you made it this far into the video, thank you for watching and hopefully see you in next week's video.